today I'm going to show you how to install Epic Games Launcher directly into gaming mode on your Steam Deck. This new method was recently released and it basically consists of a Decky Loader plugin called Junk Store. So uh, we're going to install that, I'm going to show you how to do it and then we're going to download some Epic Store games. But before I do that, I'm going to show you how to install Decky Loader. Uh, okay, so now what we're going to do is open Firefox, Chrome, whatever you have basically. Uh, and search for GitHub Decky Loader. And now we are going to go here. I'm just going to make it bigger. And scroll down a little bit. Just click on this site, it will take you to the download. Actually, we don't need to open the file, we just need to go on uh, here, here, and then we are going to take this file and move it to the desktop. So, uh, if you're downloading for from Firefox, that is one extra step. Here, so if you download from Firefox, then uh, the file will be named .desktop.download. So you need to rename it to .desktop only. So you basically need to remove the .download part. Uh, if you're downloading from Chrome, uh, this will not happen. So this is a step you can uh, pretty much skip. So we're going to go here and rename, and then just delete this part. Okay, so now we can go ahead and have our file and we just double click on it, continue. And um, there is a recommendation to, um, to have an admin password. Uh, it used to be a requirement, but it was recently updated. So you can Install it temporarily, and it will set to uh, set your password to Decky with an exclamation point at the end, um, and then it will remove automatically when the installer finishes. So here, just click on yes. Uh, release or pre-release? I think it's better just to go for release. And now it's going to start downloading, and basically installing a bunch of scripts. All right, so now we have Decky installed. Once we have Decky Loader completely installed, uh, we are going to need to do one additional step, and that is to go to the Discover store and search for a, an app called Proton Up. All right, so this is the app. I already have it installed. If you don't have it installed, uh, the only thing you need to do is to click on it and in click on Install right here instead of Launch. So anyway, once it's installed, you just click on Launch and it should open up and it's going to show you a bunch of information here uh, if you have uh, stuff installed if you don't then it won't uh, the only thing that came default for me was a proton anti-cheat runtime uh, the other things i installed uh, manually so we're going to add a version and as of writing the last version is 9.7 uh, so keep in mind that if you are watching this video later you should download whatever is the latest version so uh, after selecting it, you just want to click on install and it's going to start downloading right here. So we're going to give it a second and uh, through the magic of video editing, the minute that it took to download only took approximately three seconds. Okay, once we have this installed, we can just close it up and go back to gaming mode. All right, once we are in gaming mode, we are going to open up Decky. So we click on the three dots here, where you see the little arrow. And we scroll all the way down to the Decky tab. And we're going to open the store. And we're going to go to search. And we're going to search for junk. And we're going to click enter. And we're going to install this. Alright, now it has been installed, so now we're going to open this, 
go to dependencies go to install dependencies and we're gonna install Proton Battle I runtime. So we're gonna click on install. I will install it on the internal drive just because it's more stable than a micro SD card that can break or you might switch it at some point. So yeah, just to have it always, I'm gonna install it in my internal drive. And then we're gonna give it a second. All right, it has now finished installing. As you can see, both of them are blacked out so I can't select any of them. Uh, I can select Proton easy anti cheat because I already have it installed. Uh, chances are you already have it installed because uh, some Steam Deck games automatically install it. But if you, for whatever reason you don't have it, you are going to click on this one as well. So uh, once we are done, we're just gonna exit. And then we're gonna open it up again. And then we're gonna go to games. Once you're here, you're gonna wanna log in into your Epic Store account. So you're gonna, just gonna click on login and then uh, it's gonna ask you to input your uh, information. Keep in mind that it won't let you log in with Google, Xbox or whatever other uh, authentication me method you have because it will open up a secondary tab and uh, gaming mode sometimes has trouble with that. So we're just gonna log in using our email address. All right, once we have logged in, it will take us back here. At this point, we want to go back to the main menu. We're going to navigate again to the Decky tab and uh, we're going to go to Junk Store again. We're going to go to Games. And now we have logged in and uh, we have every game in our library available to install. So as you can see, uh, for me, this is quite an important thing because as you can see, I have a lot of games on the Epic Store that uh, I would definitely be playing. As a final part of this video, I want to talk about why games work and why games don't work. Uh, basically, every game that works natively on Linux will work using this method. So this method is not going to be able to uh, make Fortnite suddenly work on the Steam Deck. So uh, there are some games that still require Windows to be installed in order to be played. And this method is just going to make installing games simpler, but it's not going to give you new games that were not previously available on the Steam Deck. So if I install Destiny 2 or Fortnite, uh, which are games that are known not to work, uh, I'm not going to get away with it. I'm not going to be able to play these games. However, is, if I install other games that do work, such as like the Bioshock Saga, uh, Valhalla, or uh, I don't know, Fall Guys, for example, Rocket League, etc., you are going to be able to get those games to work because there are workarounds in Linux for them to work. All right, with all of that said, uh, let's try installing a game. So in order to do that, we're just gonna click on whatever game we want to install. We're gonna click on install game, and then it's going to start downloading. As you can see, uh, Jotun is now being installed, and it should take a couple of minutes to download at this uh, speed. So I'm gonna skip forward, and I will see you in a second. All right, once the game has been installed, you're gonna be able to play the game, right? Uh, but we're not gonna play it from here. We're gonna go back to our library. I'm gonna go to non-Steam. I'm gonna see that our game has been added automatically to our library, our uh, collection of non-Steam games. So you can just click on it. It's even got the work card and everything, and we would be able to click play and the game would launch. However, there are some games, uh, especially those that are not fully compatible with the Steam Deck, that do require an additional workaround. And that's the reason why we installed Proton Up. So we can go to Settings. We can go to... We can go to Property. And we can force the use of a specific Steam Play compatibility tool and we're going to set it to GE Proton 9.7, which is the one we downloaded earlier. So uh, this is not necessary for this particular game, but I'm just going to show you for the sake of simplicity. And then we're going to cl click on play and the game would open. So this method, for example, works uh, for playing Fall Guys, if, you, if you're into that game, which is, by the way, super fun. And it works like wonders on the Steam Deck or if you wanna play Rocket League. As I said before, it doesn't work on Fortnite. So uh, as of right now, the only way to play uh, Fortnite on your Steam Deck is to install Windows or play it through the cloud. 
so yeah, just be aware. All right, so we are now in game. Uh, we're playing Jotun, which is uh, actually quite a good indie game. I got uh, some years ago. I never got around to finishing it. But yeah, as you can see, everything is working fine. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe if you did. It would mean the world to me. And see you again in the next one.